is getting hot in here. Say, take off all your clothes. Hey, what's going on, everybody? From First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Today, I'm joined by Mike Gapps. You can find him on Uncle Buck, Tuesdays on ABC. Yes, sir. Survivor's Remorse. Yes, sir. Always doing the stand-up thing. Always doing the stand-up thing. Staying busy, huh? I'm staying busy. Are you ready to eat these wings? Are you hungry? My name's Chicken Wing. <laughs> wow. There's a comedian named Chicken Wing. Yeah, from, from Queens. You know Chicken <laughs> yeah, Wing? I know Chicken Wing. <laughs> Are you ready to do this? Let's do it. Death to the chicken. This first one is sriracha, no big deal. All right. So you used to work at a Waffle House and Ponderosa Steakhouse, right? Yeah. You know, when the pretty girls come there and I didn't want them to know that I worked at Waffle House, I run in the back. You credit your comedy career to not being able to hold a job at those places. Right. Why do you think you were such a terrible restaurant employee? I got caught stealing waffles one night right after work. That was one reason. I wanted to do something for the kids in the community, so I took a box of waffles out of there, and the camera caught me. Trying to play Robin Hood. Trying to play Robin Hood. <laughs> Waffle House is always an interesting place to me because it seems to draw celebrities in droves, but then at the same time, when you see crazy headlines, like somebody drove their pickup truck through the front door to like confront a waitress, like some ex-boyfriend, it's always at Waffle House. A lot of restaurants are closed. Waffle House stays open 24 hours. Like you said, it, it attracts any and everybody, from the low to the high. And they got like a lady just standing there, and every after you give her your other order, she just stand there. So I want two scatter covered smotheds. I want two eggs, oatmeal, cut. And the dude is just he's just cooking while she's saying this. Man, good. That's pretty good. So on Uncle Buck, you play one of these uncles who's like a good uncle, but also kind of a bad uncle. So I'm hoping I can just bounce some sort of coming of age life moments, and you could give me advice as the good uncle, bad uncle. Yeah. All right, I have a crush on a girl in my third period biology class, but I don't know how to tell her. Just write it on a piece of paper. Do you like me, yes or no? Stick with the classics. I can't go 30 seconds without scrolling my phone. Throw it out the window. Go get an old chirp phone. Take it Matter back. Matter of fact, go get a beeper. I'm getting bullied online because I'm a fully grown man and all I have is this ridiculous hot wing show on YouTube. Get offline. Be grown. Leave them kids alone. Get a real job? Get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> These are supposed to be hot. They're getting there. Everybody early in the show is like, they're always like, what is this? I, I came here to eat hot wings. What is, these aren't hot. This one didn't really do anything to me. I ain't scared of you, Chalor. How you doing? So blessed. And then everybody always faces that back nine, too. It's Wing number three. It's hot in here. Say, take off all your clothes. You also play an uncle on Survivor's Remorse. Yeah. So if this Uncle Buck thing takes off, I really think that you have the potential to be the greatest fictional uncle of all time. Of all time. I want to bounce five greats off of you, and you can tell me what you thought of these great fictional uncles. First one, Uncle Jesse. I like Uncle Jesse. He was too young to be an uncle. Somebody put him in a bad situation. If I was a young kid, uh, I'd say, Uncle Jesse, you got a Viagra I could use, because I'm an unusual kid. Uncle Phil. Kind of look like Suge Knight. But different sensibilities, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Sam. Oh, I don't want to see him at all. Not a fan of Uncle Sam. Not a fan. And whoever's doing his perm need to cut it. Uncle Fester. Oh, man. I say, Uncle Fester, you look like a molester. And number five, Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke, Moe, hey, 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 Moe. What I would bring to him is I would ask him, Uncle Luke, how could I get, hey, 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 Moe. Kind of a, this one has a kick. God. You've been in music videos almost as long as you've been in movies, and they run the gamut from Nori to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. And then your mixtapes kind of run as deep as DJ dramas. Yeah. I wonder, how does hanging out with rappers in the studio compare to just shooting the shit with comedians backstage at the Comedy Cellar? Man, when you hang out backstage with a rapper, it's a hundred guys back there, a girls. And then when you hang out with comedians, it's real cool. Everybody back here cracking jokes, waiting to go up. 
you know, like night and day. It's night and day, they're that different. It is different, man. Rappers, man. It might be a gun back there. Of all the music video sets you've been on, whose was the most fun? I gotta say Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar? Yeah, because we was dancing in the middle of a field next to a casket. That sounds, that's, I don't know if that sounds like such a great It wasn't with. fun, but it was just crazy. This is our hot sauce. We're very proud of it. Homeboy's hot sauces, Heatonist. I think it's the best hot sauce ever made, but I'll leave it up to you. Let's do it. So you're playing Richard Pryor. Yeah. I wonder how did diving into Richard Pryor's character change Mike Epps as a person? Preparing to do this role, and after I read about Richard Pryor, I said, wow, I'm a church kid compared to him. He was really, really layered up. This guy was really, really smart, really, really crazy. And uh, I, I just realized I'm not that crazy. Yeah, I got a chance. Yeah. Now is where the game starts to kind of get serious. So I think the Richard Pryor conversation segues kind of into this one. You know, your Netflix special, it's Can called... Can I drink something? Go ahead. Definitely, Damn. I recommend it. A little bit of a kick on that one. Damn. 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 Net... Go ahead. Your Netflix special, it's called Don't Take It Personal. Mm -hmm. And as someone who's done stand-up comedy for 20 plus years, mm -hmm. I think that you're uh, the perfect person to ask. Do you think that audiences are more easily offended in 2016 than they say were in the 90s? Not really, you know, 2016, you got the internet. People's all on the internet. They doing everything on the internet. So I don't think people get offended as well as much as they would be in the 90s. Really? It was exactly. shocking in the 90s to hear somebody saying different stuff, but now, it's like, oh man, I seen crazier stuff on the internet. Seven, pain 100% all the way through, not 90, not 80, 100. It's a man wing right there. Mm. Man, that's hot. Not good with hot shit? Them ways is too hot, man. I can't even talk. You are kind of, you seemed in a confident place in the first couple of wings, and now... My eyes is watering. My lower back is hurting. I can't taste it. I can't taste my tongue. Damn. Tapping out? Ah, shit. I'm done, man. I can't do no more. No, I think I'm gonna stop here, bro. Okay, I'm not doing it, man. Like, I'll answer your questions, but... But I'll have to eat your wings. Mm-hmm. And the way you're dressed, my guess is you got a day of press today. I do. All right, all right, we'll let you sit it out because we don't want you sweating under the lights all day long. I might have to get a tongue cast after this. Well, I'm gonna keep eating the wings if you're still good with the conversation. Go ahead. You can tap out. So, the other thing we like to do... Ah! is we like to show, you know, some pictures from Instagram because you have these great pictures, but they're void of context. So just wonder what's going on in some of these. Looks like you're on a kayak in this one. Yeah, I did a little kayak in one day. You can't really see it, but there's three midgets in the back of me holding it down. In this one, you're backstage at WrestleMania. There you are with John Cena. Yeah, it was really fun. <clears throat> Until you see them guys walking past with them little booty shorts on. The last one. This is a crazy picture. You, DMX, Cam Newton. Yeah. What do we have, the Bojangles? Bojangles, chicken. DMX brought some Bojangles backstage of one of my shows. See Cam Newton got his Urkel pants on. That's quite the scene. And I got the bubble guts now. You worked with Mike Tyson on Meet the Blacks. What were your conversations like? What sorts of stories did he tell? Man, it, Mike Tyson was, it was tough. I see how that little kid felt with that gorilla now. <laughs> she eat it dropped away. Hey, you want one of these? I guess I could eat. Hold on, they'll take this one. This that same pattern the principal whooped my ass with. <laughs> they got chicken wings on it. You know, when a young, talented people go to make a career in show business, usually they go to either New York or Los Angeles. But you took a Greyhound to Atlanta. Atlanta. How quickly until you realized, you know what, maybe I should have gone to a coast? Real quick. I just realized the only way I could get famous down here is 
I want some money, that's some hoes. How do you make a name for yourself in the strip club? You just bring a lot of cash? A lot of cash. You just... All ones. Till you get all the way down to the bottom. It's one money order. $35 money order, <laughs> How do you think Atlanta compares to, say, L.A. or New York? Atlanta is, uh, you know, hot Atlanta. They call it hot Atlanta. And, you know, the DJ is just sitting there telling everybody to tip the strippers, but he's calling them hoes and bitches. He's like, y'all better tip these hoes. <laughs> tip these bitches. <laughs> y'all better throw these thoughts some dollars. <laughs> And in L.A., it's like, that's right, fellas, coming to the stage. She goes by the name of uh, Chili Hot Ones. And there's a woman come out with a little thin thong just dangling. You ever seen a baggy thong? No, no. But I don't think I want to. Yeah. It's pretty ugly. What about New York? Is New York different? Yeah, New York is really rough. Girl's sitting there dancing, and she's got a, a old Brooklyn bullet stuck in her thigh. I got shot at a Melly Mel concert in 81. All right, so this is the last wing. Has anybody ever, ever told you you look like the little man on the Lord of the Rings? Oh, man. Spiegel. You look better than him, but... Jesus Christ, that might be the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. No, related to him, not... not the as, goblin? Not... Smeagol? The goblin that's like... My He's precious. That fucking, that thing? He has nice eyes. Have you ever looked at his eyes? He's got really good green eyes. Are you kidding? No, you don't look exactly like him, but you guys have... But related, that's not better. Okay, you don't look like him, man. Shit. Good I Lord. thought I was giving you, you a can't compliment. Take it. You thought you were giving me a compliment, calling the me Smeagol from Lord of the Rings? The ring? guy's got eyes like Smokey Robinson. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> He's got green eyes, man. What the hell you want me to say? You're one of Instagram's great motivational speakers. Yeah. Maybe after I take this last wing, you can give something motivational, something inspiring for the future guests so that maybe they can get through it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. For the future guests that decide they want to come on this show and eat some wings, go vegan. Yeah, go vegan. Because this chicken is hot. It's hot. The devil won't eat this shit. That's my motivation to speak. And fellas, brush your teeth before you suck a girl's titty. Mike, you made it through. The or, uh, Yeah, I actually didn't. Mike, you didn't make it through. But you know what? We're a forgiving place here at Hot Ones. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Hey, this is Mike Epps. Make sure you check me out on Uncle Buck, June 14th. This is Mike Epps. I'm on Instagram, Epsy. The Real Mike Epps on Twitter. The Real Mike Epps on Facebook. Make sure you follow me. Make sure you do the right thing. And if you're drinking and driving, pull over and have sips. <laughs>